Well, I'm kind of in the finishing touches on this 35. I still have to find the right butt plate, but this works fine. Like I said, I don't mind that extra inch in there. But I did get the Marlin Bullseye. You know, <laughs> it's a sign of quality. This came from Numrich. You know, and it's the original one. But now I have heard it. You know, they're fairly long and they don't go in that deep. You know, I took the swivel out because like I, I figured it was mounted in that hole. You know, it's not uncommon. This is about a $10 unit. But I believe I can cut that in half because it's going to be way too much anyway. And I don't want to drill the hole deeper. Then I'll move the swing swivel back. Like this is the factory's on uh, my 39A. And that's, you know, you got to figure about an inch. But these are unusual swivels that were on this gun. You know, everything now comes with the detachable ones. Not a big fan of those. It's kind of convenient, but that's a really small little pin that goes in there. I, I really don't have a lot of faith in them. But the ones that came on this, which I do like, are very wide. You know, most slings are, are way too narrow for this. They just slop around in there. And I tell you, it's hard to find a decent sling. Uh, most of them are weird nylon, and, and they'll have like like a skinny nylon strap, then they put a wide pad on there. Well, every time you lift up and down, the pad gets twisted around. They just don't work. You know, they're just a nuisance is what they are. I better use a hunk of clothesline or something. But one of my favorite swings is the one that's on this M96 Swede. You know, it's very simple, easily and almost infinitely adjustable. You know, there's, there's holes all the way down here, all the way up here. You could just easily slide that buckle. Just a little button kind of deal that holds it on the bottom. So I figured, well, that's the right width. So I got a couple of those because my 3030 Marlet has got the same kind of wide swivels on it. Now these came from WWWorldWar2Supply.com. But what they are is reproductions of the good old Swedish swing. You even got the triple crown. And these have got the triple crown. But they are reproductions, but good basic sling. The only thing, these come with this clip thing, which I imagine this had originally, but I'm sure that's something that people would take off because, you know, you get these things on there and they rattle around. You know, I, I find the same thing. My M1A has got one down on the bottom part, and you get the rattle. And I think you'd be, you know, cutting in the wood and whatnot, so that's just gonna be taken off. Just run the basic sling. But like I say, I got two of them, so I can put one on that 30-30 too. But first I gotta soak them down good with neat's foot oil, because I like when you get leather to this point, you know, that stuff will last forever. And it just takes time. But I like that you know, a one piece rather than, uh, I should have brought out, I've got one of the ones that's two pieces that are stitched together. Well, then they get stiff and awkward. This, this is a good sling. For, I think, 23 bucks each. But, good basic sling never have to replace but no I think like I say that's not that deep I think I can get this cut in half and glue that in there and trim her down and then I'll have another little spare piece so it's just plastic with black in the inside 
but it is the the marlin sign of quality and I actually do use that quite often when I'm looking for guns when I go through a shop I can just glance down a rack of guns I'm looking for that marlin bullseye that's where this one did fool me because the slink of it was in there when I first glanced down the row I didn't see it but on second look I noticed that longer barrel you know and then oh I thought that, that's different so I had to take a closer look but otherwise I'm looking when I'm in a shop that's what I'm looking for to see that bullseye so put that in where it belongs